Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R650 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on mass updates. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. I just want a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R650 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in now. This video is gonna be specifically dedicated to mass updates. It's one of my personal favorite videos in the series. And if you didn't know that we're doing a series, there's a whole series dedicated to the R650 that's gonna show you all the different components. It's gonna show you uh, different compatibilities for uh, operating systems. It's gonna show you how to do different upgrades, including this right here on how to do mass updates, which again is one of my favorite videos because it's really important to keep your server up to date. There's always new issues that are coming out, always new patches. So to me, I think this is something that should be done on the regular, that your IT department should always be keeping your server up to date or your hosting provider or whoever is running your server. It just needs to be an up-to-date server. So what we've done here is for some of the home lab enthusiasts, or even if it's someone uh, at a data center themselves, we're showing you how to update your R650. And what we're gonna do is gonna update the BIOS, it's gonna update the firmware, it's gonna update the onboard diagnostics, it's gonna check various components in there and just make sure everything is up to date and if there is any new dates it'll tell you uh, what has the current latest update and that's already good to go and what needs to be updated and this could take some time when you do run the updates and luckily the 650 is still a, a 15th gen server it's not that old uh, sometimes when we're doing the older servers like a 13th gen r630 we might have to run them overnight because the updates could take hours to do it only take you a few minutes to set it up but it could take hours to run all the updates depending on how old it is so if you're watching this video a few years down the line just know that hey this could be something that does take a little bit of time to update. So well, let's go ahead and hop into the fun stuff. All right, so let's show you how to do mass updates for your 15th gen server. And we're gonna show you step-by-step -step instructions for everything you need to know. So first things first, we are going to boot up our 15th gen server. Upon boot, we're gonna hit F10 to get into the lifecycle controller. Navigate to firmware update on the left side of the screen and select launch firmware update. Select Network Share, CIFS, or NFS, or HTTP, or HTTPS server from the options listed and click Next. If you've not previously configured the network settings, it will prompt you to configure the network settings. At this moment, we will select Yes. You need to select the network port that your CAT5 cable is plugged into. What we're currently using is Integrated NIC 1. Change the IP address source to DHCP and click next in the bottom right corner of your screen. This will apply the changes and automatically set an IP address which will give the server internet access. Select HTTPS and in the share name address option you're going to want to type out downloads.dell.com and then you're going to hit next. This will begin looking for all the available updates for your 15th gen server. Select yes to continue if prompted with a dialog box. This will take a few minutes to search for all the updates, so we'll fast forward. The final step, you're gonna select the updates that you wanna run. And you don't have to pick everything, even though we do recommend selecting everything. And then once you've picked what you want, just press apply in the bottom right corner of your screen. Do note that the updates will take anywhere from a few minutes to hours and hours depending on how many updates are available and how many you've chosen and how old your server is as a whole. So just know that it can be hours. Luckily the 15th gen is pretty new overall so I wouldn't expect a ton of time when we're updating some of the older 12th gen, 13th gen servers. We literally leave them running overnight uh, because it takes so, so long and we don't want to clog up our lab. So do note that there will be some downtime. So if this is a server in a live environment, I uh, do know it's probably better to run the updates overnight. The server is going to begin downloading, installing all the updates, and then it will reboot after it's finished. Congratulations, you've successfully updated your 15th gen Dell server. Do us a favor, if you found anything that helped you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at That's sales at Thanks for stopping by guys. Take care, bye.